let's talk about testing towards here. Oh, this is a fairly new. Usually nothing happens too much in the, in the testing world, but this is kind of a, uh, things have changed. Uh, I see Meyer smiling here a little bit. But the idea is uh, this is one of the relatively new changes that are in, in testing. Let's go talk about uh, testing towards in a part three. I'm gonna talk about these things in sort of uh, these four poll points. Exploratory testing. In a way, I could have probably put it, labeled this as manual testing, but I think that's sort of a, a false illusion because I think there's a lot of manual testing. Exploratory testing is sort of one directive within that. So automated testing, manual testing, that seems very black and white, right? But, uh, but I think I'm talking a very specific type of manual testing. Okay, so this is one from Elizabeth Henderson, which is from Quality Tree. It's one of these uh, testing software companies, but she said, Simultaneous exploratory testing is simultaneously learning about the system while designing and executing tests using feedback from the last test to inform the next. Idea is that you're kind of doing this one thing where it's like you're exploring, right? The, the searching criteria, criteria validation thing that I talked about a little before, but think about it in more realistic is like how I got here. I go, got an address. Oh, Julie sent that email. I got it. Okay, well, it's uh, 205 Richmond Street, right? I'm, I look at a MacQuest. I kind of go here. I look at the sign. I figure out. That's Richmond, go down the street, go a little further. That's 194, that's not far enough, go a little further. The idea of exploratory testing is like that. It's, it's like you're going on a hike or something that somewhere you've never been before, right? We're not talking about repeating a particular path, right? But let's talk about a little bit of a design execution observed learn. That is the cycle that Elizabeth is talking about. She, she actually has this, this, low, uh, this, this clip art here. It says, checked plus explored equals tested. That's, the, that's, that's what she's kind of came up with. So, exploratory testing. It's uh, mostly a, a, a manual type of testing. You probably could imagine some cases where you would use some level of, uh, of automated testing, but the idea is it's mostly manual as a high level of human interaction. Okay, the human part is key to this exploratory part. Computers are, even with the machine intelligence algorithms we have, are, are not the greatest explorers. Okay, they're often developed dependent on the quality of the tester. Um, skilled and experienced testers generally do better in exploratory testing. Um, these things are, remember we talked about automated testing a bit, they're a little bit hard to scale and hard to script. Okay? Um, but luckily for exploratory testing, there's sort of opportunity for new users. Automated testing is a very high uh, ramp up curve to get involved. Right? You have to learn like Robotium or Frank or something like that or JUnit or something like that. Um, for exploratory testing, you can kind of put somebody on and say, hey, let's get going kind of thing. So. Why is exploratory testing good? Exploratory testing is good. It takes, it takes advantage of human creativity. Remember we had the slide that says, okay, can anybody be a tester? No, you need those critical thinkings, this creative thinking. We're gonna take really advantage of it in this type of situation. What we're doing is, a good another thing is we take advantage of serendipity, okay? So, so sometimes you just don't know what you know. It almost sounds like a yoga barriers, but the idea is like, Exploratory testing, a lot of times you come into this idea of serendipity. You kind of go somewhere, you figure something out that you may not have planned, but you get a result that, that you're very happy with, right? It's like overshooting expectation, right? Level, ceremony, and overhead. Low level, okay? The idea here is this is one of those situations where you're going to go and you're going to have low level of ceremony, low level of documentation, low level of scripting, okay? That, that, that's sort of like upfront. Sometimes you have low level amount of ceremony and it's unintentional and you get very upset. This is a case where it's not, it's intentional, okay? Uh, remember we talked about this one a little bit too? We're talking about different testers equal different results. In this case, it's amplified because the human involvement is so important. 